بين الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وبه نستعين ولا حول لنا ولا قوة إلا بالله علي العظيم وبشار صدري وأسر لعمري رحمة ولا جمل لساني يفقه قولي اللهم يا ميارا ما في بغير الرسم أنت محب لكل ما يتوقع يا ميرجى بالشباب كلها وإليه كل الأمور يرجع ومن الذي هدي وراتب باسمه إن كان فضلك عن فقيرك إنه خاشا فضلك عن تقام يتعاصيا الفضل أجزل من الله وأوصر والقيسس أنا قريش سبيت الله سبحانه وتعالى The Lord of Universe return him almighty May peace and benediction of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be upon Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his household, his companions, and those who follow his path till the day of judgment, their great brothers and sisters in Islam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I pray Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept our ibadat as we are marking the eighth today in the month of Ramadan, a very very great month we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upon this neighbor that he extended his blessing upon us to witness the eighth of Ramadan alhamdulillah and any type of ibadah what kind of ibadah that we have offered before uh, from day one of Ramadan up to this moment, I pray Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept them as an act of ibadah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept all of our ibadah and forgive our sins and make Jannah of Udaus to be our last place, inshallah. We are about two days before we start uh, beginning of our themselves today, inshallah. Number one, if you look, as we're marking the age today, the same thing we'll be looking at a very, very important chance in this great month is that we are going to cover the first ten days in the month of Ramadan by next tomorrow, as in by Saturday, inshallah. Because tomorrow will be ninth of Ramadan and Saturday will be tenth of Ramadan. So that uh, if even you are calculate in this month, let me put it in. We have about 30 million naira in accounts. I don't want to mention small money. 30 million naira in account, 200 million naira in account. And you spend out of that 200 million naira by 300 million naira, 100 million naira. You know that uh, something has happened to your account. So that as we are observing the value in the month of Ramadan, it means we are going to miss 10, the first 10 days. And it will never come back again. Except another Ramadan will come. And now another Ramadan that will come is sure that it must, it must come. Well, the Ramadan will not collapse now. That is reality. Another Ramadan will take place next day. But the problem is that when we don't know, maybe I don't know all you, whether we will witness another Ramadan. But we pray Allah to spare our lives to witness, not even only this year Ramadan, rather more. Of uh, Ramadan, inshallah. So now a Muslim need to think deeply. That is, you have to assess yourself and you have to do what we call assessment by what have I achieved. Everybody has his own life. All about their own life, which, which, which majorly is Ibadah. We do the free, grant interview here and there, and this thing, that is their own. And if Allah SWT bless you, you have money, you are well in shape, Imam, so that you use your money as well. And now, you that you are not island, you are not a scholar, and you don't have money, you should be able to understand that your own role in this great month, to, your own role in this great month, you are to use your strength and your power, communicate with Allah, if you don't know, miss around the wealthy people are not missing Tarawi, all of us don't miss Tarawi, and you, you are missing Tarawi, you don't have anything. It's bad. So that you use your strength, you know yourself some sleep in the night, you wake and talk.
talk and communicate with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And definitely Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will answer your prayers and will make you among the beneficiaries of this great month. And now coming back to wealthy, to wealthy people, based on your level, this, this is your season. I'm telling you, this is the right time for you to reach the less privileged people. You know poor family, those that they don't have enough in your whole area, you have to reach them. This is the highest time that somebody, a really wealthy person, need to give us a card of his money. You can even place a card of your money in advance. Yes, because of the of Ramadan. And because it will reach people in the month of Ramadan, and people will appreciate it a lot, and they will pray Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for you. And uh, the same thing with matter, the matter is of iftar. Feeding people is very, very necessary and very, very essential. Because if you feed my father of Shah Imam, turn around with your eyes and you me. If you feed a fasting person, just one person, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will definitely give you the reward of that fasting person, the reward of his fast. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not deny him, and rather he will reward both of you. So that uh, it is a, well, a blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us reach this day that is marking the end in the month of Ramadan, we want Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to extend that name upon us to cover the first 10 days in the month of Ramadan and the second 10 days in the last 10 days, which is a will, that, that the last 10 days in the month of Ramadan will be in major this in the uh, uh, area of concentration. Like when somebody tells you that somebody writes exam, it's an area of uh, concentration that will be that in the last 10 days in the month of Ramadan. And another thing is that we are running up this order today. This order to now, if I can remember, we started it uh, last year, we at the beginning of it. And uh, through our monthly Pepsi here, we covered some verses, although we skip and we missed some months due to some, uh, some uh, genealogies and maybe travelers or maybe something national, something local, like maybe election or something like that, like the way we miss it in February. They are last of all, that are set as an of the But today, inshallah, we will wrap up this surah, and uh, if we wrap it up, we will not go to another surah. Because the next surah is surah to the cosmos. And that surah, the last of all, started it with the case of Arab Musa. And whenever you want to talk about Musa, you must talk. They were very long way. And the just part of a few minutes will not will not able uh, this thing uh, will not able uh, be enough for us to talk about and then Musa. That's why I will leave that surah. We will come back inshallah and we will now start uh, the new surah, the last one that I make it easy. And the surah Allah was the surah of the Qasas, the surah of uh, Qasas, stories, Qasas. Where well, Allah Mother is telling me these stories and uh, how I, I, I will put it in this story. How do we live in a shaitan of a Jimmy's prayer of man of him? Allah Mother Allah says, He never over to an Abu Rabba had a bed. As we know that our culture, we somebody connect the uh, current tepsir with the previous tepsir. And Allah Mother Allah says here, yeah, among of uh, this events that we took yesterday, is a number of girls who are half of the Roma half and the body that made it from Roma half, where who could do share. I was commanded by Lost Marwatana to worship the Lord of this, this town, this city. He's referring to Mecca. You know, you saw the Quraysh, he said that for the half of the Roma half and the body, worship the Lord of this house. That is Kaaba. But here, he said, Rabba has a valley that the Lord of this city, he generalized. That's what we call it. Dhikr al-Khas, Dhikr al-Khas, Dhikr al-Khas, Bad al-Khas. After Allah has already generalized, now I'm going to say something in a special way. He said, Raja Kul, tell them you are Muhammad, and then we'll be able to, and how about Rabba has a valley that I was commanded by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to worship the Lord of this city, 
مكة الذي حرمها الذي حرمها this that city Mecca Allah SWT made that Mecca as a forbidden city what does that mean? that is a city that holy, holy land where you don't commit if you commit Allah will block your punishment and if you worship Allah SWT there as well Allah SWT will multiply your this in your rewards like look here in Nigeria, if you pray, one prayer, you have those 27 rewards. Those 27 rewards. Any prayer, whether Sufi or Zohar, Afri, Malgrim, Nishak, anyone. But if you go there, you observe one to the obligatory prayer, you have reward 100,000 rewards. So that if you take somebody that just offer those Sufi prayer, one single prayer in Mecca, it will, it will take for you to catch up with that place in Nigeria or any other, any other place in the world, it will take you years. You all look at our prayers that we pray, just 27. I will even do calculate, I will calculate this maybe later to bring it up for us to know. I've said something like that before. If you, you have my dad's a fact daily prayer, 27 the world, multiply by five. You will not multiply it by 12 months. Or 360 days or 65 days. You will realize that. You will spend even more than one year, all years before reaching even one prayer, subhanAllah. And I wonder someone will not go for Umrah and he will be glory prayers in Kaaba and someone will come up to hide and say his face is too far. Something that you just have limited days, just few days to spend. Can't you just walk for a day like that? You know, can't you, subhanAllah, even two weeks that you are going to spend, if you can make sure that you didn't miss, you didn't miss any prayer, any obligatory prayer, Allah, you are successful and you are very, very fortunate person. I can remember our Sheikh and my, my Baba, my senior brother, I would like to mention his name, Sheikh and Nicola Mugen, is our father now, our place. You know, I is our mother as well. When they travel to Hajj, I think around 2003 or 2, I could not remember, but it has been long. When they reach, they could not reach in time. But when they reach, they say that this hotel will be saying, which hotel will be again? I'm living with a line in Kaaba. They say that he has missed a lot. So that he is, he is, he is a tour of the state, he does not even know his room. Or well, just stay there, just do it, man. Just do it, just say, just say, I'm going to put just hug in Kaaba. He will hug in Kaaba. Always that's what he was doing. He was doing there and praying there. Even over there, he said, ah, this place. Because it's a privilege. Some people have money, but with a lot of other people, they will never think about it. And somebody, he is looking for it, but he didn't get it. But it's a kind of rahma from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, for whoever that travels to that place to utilize his time to pray. At least, subhanAllah, look, if you can pray 10 times, you pray on just two days, you have one million dollars. That is it. Because 100, 100 times, multiply by 10. That is a one, one million reward that the last one that we write right for you. So that now if somebody should spend two weeks there, so that we have our seven million rewards of my salad, which it will take somebody here or in any other area in the world years before getting that kind of reward. Allah said this now is a is a holy land and forbidden land, and you don't commit there, and you don't kill animal there. Yes, you don't hunt, yeah? And before you know now that they already modernize everything, before, if you travel to Hajj, you see all these animals will not be coming closer. It's a test from Allah. Because you should know, they know that you don't kill them. They know they are running from inside. They know, they know that you kill them. But now, they will not come to you. You will not see all these rabbits, see everything very, very close to you. At that time, no money, no anything, no people are not really. Even in Saudi, in Saudi Arabia, but uh, the animals will come. It's a test from Allah. Allah said, Don't touch them. You don't cause problems there. You don't fight them. Like you don't know, argue with anybody. If you see something, if you miss items, you don't pick it. Except you know, I say, ah, I can just see your phone, just fight, just take it. But when you just, you just say that, ah, you come back, and like somebody give people money. You see that I just be picking money. This place is not there at dollars. Just leave it. You go. If you want money, ask Allah SWT. Allah SWT will give you. 
He said, Rabba hadha al-balnata al-ladhi harramaha wa lawa kullu shayin. And this Kaaba is kind of the greatest name that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives to entire Muslims in the world. And it's in a special way to uh, the Arab people, the people of Makkah, Saudi Arabia people. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Well, you have to rub Bahada, he's telling them that, don't you, do you want to worship me? After I've given you this, it's attracting people, everybody will love that place. If you have trouble to hide, or for Umbra, even more than 10 times in your life, Anything that you bring that offer to you, you'll be happy. Yes. Yes. All you like to go, to go out, go out, go out. We don't want to say that I'm tired of the hat. I've never had it before. Also, we say that, no, I don't need no more, no more, no more. We have gone now. No, no, and so forth. Nobody will say that because a lot of Allah said that. Why do you have to tell me that how we heal it, how we heal it? A lot of Allah said that they let, instead of prayer, I don't be praying. Let people to love that place. Let make uh, people's heart attached to that hour. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala answered his prayer. He said, well, look for me as Tamarat. When I'm an amir, he said, give them, give them rest that is wealth, enrich them, sustain them. He now makes he said, with different types of food. And they don't find in Saudi Arabia, but that kind of food that you cannot get here. And in the entire world, any way that you have special food, you take it to them. But then that special one, you take it to them. And people say, this one is going to Saudi Arabia. The best! They will pack everything. They will not even take it. Or test it. They will take it there. That is the law of Arab Ibrahim. And the greatest law that Arab Ibrahim made, and Allah SWT answered, is that Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He said, What was see him, Rasul, and meaning him? He said, Yeah, Allah, send and bring out among these people, they are far unbelievers, suffering of ignorance. Ya Allah, bring out of them the great prophet and blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah answered that prayer. That is the prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That is the reason why Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is somebody talk to his companion. He said, Anna da'ahu to Abi Ibrahim, and the result of prayer of my father, Ibrahim. Yes, he said, Anna da'ahu to Abi Ibrahim, I am resolved, it's the Java of Dua, my grandfather Ibrahim, alayhi salatu wa salam. In Salatu al-Ibrahimiya, the one that we do recite during our five daily prayers, you know, where it was requested that we should recite Salatu al-Ibrahimiya, Rama Salatu al-Muhammad wa Rama Muhammad kama salatu al-Ibrahim, وَعَلَىٰ آلِ إِبْرَاهِيمُ وَبَارِكَ عَلَىٰ مُحَمَّدٍ وَعَلَىٰ آلِ مُحَمَّدٍ كَمَا بَارَكَ عَلَىٰ إِبْرَاهِيمُ وَعَلَىٰ آلِ إِبْرَاهِيمُ فِي الْعَالَمِ مِنَ الْكَعْمِ الْمُجِيمِ Now another verse, there is another narration, there is a Allah Sayyidina Ibrahim. The one without Sayyidina is more powerful, more authentic. And in another one, we say, Allah Masuli عَلَىٰ مُحَمَّدٍ وَعَلَىٰ آلِ مُحَمَّدٍ كَمَا صَلَيْتَ عَلَىٰ إِبْرَاهِيمُ وَعَلَىٰ آلِ إِبْرَاهِيمُ do not go to the king of Allah, O Barak ala Muhammad, O Allah ala Muhammad, Kama Barak ala Ibrahim, O Allah ala Ibrahim, O Allah ala Ibrahim, O Allah ala Ibrahim, the same thing. Here, in that salutation, you are requesting, asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam like the way he blessed Anam Ibrahim. And that's where the whole amount of, they say that does it mean that this Anam Ibrahim is higher than Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. They say no. Prophet Azza is the greatest prophet and blessing. And it's greater than Anam Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa sallam. But he said, the whole amount said that there is something that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave Anam Ibrahim that didn't give Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. They said what? They say it's Muhammad himself. Because Anam Muhammad is a, is, is a result of the is is dua of Anam Muhammad of Anam Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa sallam. But Anam Muhammad does not have something, some, somebody like, like himself. Allah Allah didn't make any of his own son to become prophet or blessing of Allah. Rather he said he is looking at Anam Ibrahim. Allah bless Anam Ibrahim than him. But uh, he is more than Anam Ibrahim. Because on the day of Jomi, I said it before yesterday, on the day of Jomi, we go and meet Ibrahim, Musa, Isa, all of them, they say they can't do anything about the matter. When I go, we move to Prophet Muhammad or anybody, they say, I'm the one. And we talk to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and Allah will definitely answer his prayer, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will grant his uh, this, uh, 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 request. 
Then one of the last one that I blessed, those people in Saudi Arabia with that house. There is no any house that attract people yearly, let me put it daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, like Kaaba. And that love, that even criminals among Muslims, they love that, uh, this is, they love that Kaaba. Allah SWT says, وَلَوْ كُلَّ شَيْءٍ وَأُمَرْتُ وَنَا أَكُونَ مِنَ الْمُسْلِمِينَ Not that the Lord is not only the Lord of Kaaba, rather, He is the Lord of everything. He is my Lord, your Lord, He is the Lord of everything. Because some people say He is only the Lord of Kaaba, or Mecca. He is the Lord of Nigeria, UK, US, Paris, everywhere in the world. وَأُمَرْتُ وَنَا أَكُونَ مِنَ الْمُسْلِمِينَ and I was commanded by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be among the Muslim one. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, While Akru al Quran, Allah commanded me as well to recite Quran. And this is the best time and greatest time for us to recite Quran. Because this is the book of Quran. Quran was revealed in the month of Ramadan. And you don't see anybody, anybody, any Muslim that joke with Quran in this great world. Kira'at, wa fahab, wa tadabbura, wa istima'an. To read it, to reflect on it, to translate it, and to even listen to it. What is the month of Quran? And every, in the month of Ramadan, you will read. Alayhi salam, he used to manage the same and come to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi and teach him the glorious Quran. The one the Bereli is a malam for Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi will teach him the glorious Quran, he will recite and the Prophet will recite before him and he will tell him the meaning. All oh, is for that Quran to come down to us in a very, very perfect way, in a very, very perfect way. Allah SWT said, Wa al-Akru wa al-Quran Allah asked me as well to recite Quran Fa man ihtada Fa inna ma yahtadi li nafsi Whoever is being guided by Allah And he decided to be guided And he is with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Fa inna ma yahtadi li nafsi He is being guided by himself And he is doing that one to benefit himself In this story and year after And the benefit of that guidance will come to him in this one and as well on the day of the day. One of Allah and whoever decided to go astray, for in Nama, call in Nama, and I mean it, Mughiri. Ya Muhammad, tell them that is, I am one of Mughiri, the warners, the preachers, those that are preaching and spreading a last message or a last word. You know here, when we are saying, Mandrava Maina Maya, Woman, the woman is from the Terra, for in the Maya, Tell it in a shape, Woman Gola, Focal in the Ma, Anna, Middle Mugri. Allah says, In the Artinel, in the Adina, Sevilla, in my Shakira, or in my Kafura. Allah gave you the power to choose your religion. If you like, you can, that's a slap, you like gravity. If you choose, you say. Allah SWT says, I am very lovely. Allah SWT ended this one. He says, I am very lovely. Ya Muhammad says, Alhamdulillah. Thank Allah. Glory be to Allah. Thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I've been saying it. Whenever Allah SWT says for you, you say, Alhamdulillah. Allah did not you. Alhamdulillah. Allah gave you. Alhamdulillah. He did not give you. Alhamdulillah. Allah made you happy and make you happy. Alhamdulillah. He did it. Alhamdulillah. What could Alhamdulillah? Say Alhamdulillah always. And Allah SWT has a special house for Alhamdulillah. What did you give me? Do the Somali thank Allah. He said, This is house of your appreciation because you thank me a lot. Allah said, Alhamdulillah, Sayuriku Mayatihi, 
فتعرفونها وما ربك بغافل عما تعملون وقل الحمد لله سيريكم اياته فتعرفون فتعرفون الله سبحانه وتعالى will show you people his own signs and you will get it there are many signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala even this masjid is Allah sign even you yourself is Allah sign Kaaba is one of Sha'ir Abdullah anything that you see in the world is Allah sign Quran Allah sign Ramadan Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam all of Anbiya and Mursalun they are Allah's signs wa ma rabbuka bika filin amma ta'amalun Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you can never ignore what you have been doing and what your deeds, whether good word or bad word. Everything that's been recorded by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And when it is time, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will keep calling, reward you, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will uh, don't, uh, don't, don't be too eager. Yes, because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't operate in that way. And let me tell you this uh, this morning. Somebody that is into prayer and you pray a lot, continue with your prayer. You will never, you will, you will, you will regret it. Whether I'm not giving you what you want, whether I don't give you, just continue. Sometimes I'm subjected to Allah, somebody tells me Allah. But there are many times I know there are something that you favored me with and you considered me and I don't ask you. And how many times that have I made a request and you granted that request instantly? So that I talk to Allah. Whether Allah give you what you want, you don't give. Don't forget that that dua is ibadah. It's act of worship. It's ibadah. If somebody should come up and push it up, or even do this step sin, or after this step sin, I say, Rabbi, let the kabbal be in the kanda seminarily. But you are in the kanda to abure. It's dua. It's ibadah. Worship. Oh yeah, Allah. I need a house. Oh, I need good job. I need money. Oh, wife. Or car or anything, you just that request it is automatically ibadah. You are worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, whether He consider you by giving you that request instantly, or sometimes you do give instantly. Sometimes you will delay it, sometimes you will give you later, sometimes you make some dua. Allah he has answered, but no yet time. Well, Allah maybe He will come. He will come. In the next 20 years, even some will take 40 years. Yes, now. When Arabi Yusuf had a dream that this is a great person, he saw everything, and he saw that interpreted that, that dream. That very day, do you think this thing will happen the following day? After he saw that, they traveled, they wanted to kill him, they put the jail him, they did many things. And uh, upon that, he is uh, the dream come to the this uh, real and uh, the thing happened. That's where Allah SWT operates. And even you, you can remember that you've made some prayers long times ago, and now Allah is giving you. Allah is giving you. And if Allah will to give you, He will give you with siyada, with an increment. With an increment. So maybe you made a request of something, and I'll be asking you now. Last year, Ramadan, I asked you. Two years ago, I asked you. This year also, I'm repeating it every day. Why are you not giving me? Allah has given you. Allah has given you. But maybe it's not yet time. Maybe you need something better than what you requested for. Maybe you know you know you are you come for money or something like that. And Allah has not realized you don't know you are not aware. Maybe there is a particular sickness developing in your body that will take you away. And Allah has not said with this prayer, we will have taken away this thing, that sickness. And you know experience it. Because if that sickness should happen, you will not enjoy that prayer that you pray. And if Allah SWT should open it for you and show you everything that is will you prefer? You know you ask me money, or you ask me car or house, and now see this sickness. It's going to be fall on you. Maybe review your two to three days. What will I do if Allah should consult you, but he doesn't consult anybody? Before taking decision, if Allah should cons consult you and ask her, which one would you prefer? Should I take that sickness away or I should give you money and you will, you, you will be spending it on your 
yourself. You say, Allah, hold on with that request first. Just give me help. Like uh, the way we are we do with our children. You know, you deny your children some things. Doesn't mean that you don't like them. And there are some things that you are saving for them. But uh, you don't give them now. They may even be away and say, Baba, just let me say, no. Doesn't mean that you don't love them. You love them, but you give them at the right time and appropriate at this same time. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept this as another reminder. And as we are we rounded up this great surah. In Surah to Nabal, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept it as an Akbar, and may subhanahu wa ta'ala accept all of our ibadat and forgive our sins and reward every one of us, even including our cameraman. But this is the same thing. The Bible 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 is the same thing.